They're the new kids on the block. It's freshman orientation week in Congress as new members are getting situated on Capitol Hill. One of them, Hawaii's very own Jill Takuda, who has been working nonstop since last week's election. But she's taking some time out of her busy schedule to join us live from Washington, D.C. Good morning, Congresswoman-elect. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. I'm doing great. Now, first off, how hectic has this past week been and how cold is it up there? Uh, well, starting off with how cold it is, it's, I think, in the low 30s, and it's going to dip into the high 20s tonight, so definitely not the warm weather we're used to in Hawaii. Looking forward to flying home tomorrow morning and being back in, in the sun, for sure. And it's been absolutely uh, hectic from day one. I arrived here last Saturday afternoon. We've been going um, full steam ahead, learning all the things we need to know in terms of staffing up our office, preparing to enter Congress, what we've got to do, filling out forms, um, meeting our fellow colleagues, meeting existing members. So it has definitely been a whirlwind, but absolutely exciting and inspiring. And I can't wait to get home and keep working. Now we have a picture with you and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who announced yesterday that she will be mm -hmm. stepping down from her leadership role. What was that moment like, and were you on the chamber floor when that happened? You know, um, one thing that has just been an inspiration, and I think a testament to the leadership here, um, senior leadership like Speaker Pelosi, um, Majority Leader Hoyer, Majority Whip Clyburn, uh, they have all been a part of our orientation sessions. They've been inviting us in. They've been spending time with us. Um, even prior to her announcement, Speaker Pelosi inviting all of us to sit on the, the chamber floor, um, having conversations with us, allowing us to get comfortable, if you will. And the fact that as new members, we were allowed to actually sit in the gallery when she gave her remarks. It was a real chicken skin moment for myself, but I think really, again, allowing us to be a part of her message, a part of that moment in history, I think is really her putting her words into action that she believes it is about the next generation of leadership. It is about mentorship. It is about looking forward to the future. And so for myself, gosh, what a way to start off. Literally my first few days here in the Capitol with witnessing history firsthand. And again, being inspired to know that we're all a part of that change and that forward movement that this country needs. Did you say anything to her or did she offer you any advice? She's been offering us plenty of good advice, but you know, I think one that I, I truly appreciate is that she often tells us to remember to, to take care of ourselves, to make sure that our families are, are at the center of our lives and the focus, but again, just commitment um, to the people that we represent, commitment to democracy. It's, um, it, it really has been something to be surrounded by individuals who have helped to shape and diversify Congress to make it look more like our country. I really took those words to heart in her speech yesterday because even as I looked around at my own classmates coming into Congress, it's you see it, the diversity in terms of gender, in terms of ethnicity, in terms of just perspective and background. Um, it looks like America and so proud and humbled to be a part of it. Now with Pelosi stepping down and now that Republicans have control of the House, what will be your approach or tactic in overcoming these challenges? You know, we are definitely entering a different time where we are a sadly a divided country and it will be a divided Congress and it's going to be incumbent on all of us to overcome um, those divisions and really focus on issues that are important to all of our people. You know, when I was running for this seat, it really came down to kitchen table issues for me things that we worry about, hopes that we all have as families when we sit down and we look across the table at our children. Um, when we look at our parents, our grandparents, how are we going to make it in all of these places we call home, not just Hawaii, but across the country. And I do think kitchen table issues are people issues. That's how we're really going to have to focus on what has been the divide. Um, how are we going to make sure all of our families are okay wherever we live, but more importantly, work hard to put into action things that will help to restore trust confidence and faith in government. I think you saw this across the country, uh, what polls um, or whether they expressed anger when they did. Restoring that trust and confidence in government, it takes more than words, it takes a lot of action, it takes all of us working across the aisle to make sure we realize that the things that we're doing here, it's all about them. And so that's really gonna be my focus through all of this. Strength and aloha 
and leadership. That's what we've got to do to make sure people know that those kitchen table issues we care about are people issues. They're not partisan ones. And that's really going to be my focus um, in this coming new session. Now, earlier this week, we saw you taking a class photo with the other freshmen with a beautiful lay on. What's been the most memorable moment from this past week? Oh, gosh, there's so many memorable moments. <laughs> <laughs> this past week, I will tell you that class photo definitely was one, but probably also because it was really, really cold and we didn't have our coats on. Uh, but I would say the first time just stepping onto those house chamber floor, you know, and realizing this isn't, you know, something you're watching on television. You're casually visiting. Um, this is where we will do our work, you know, and just sitting in those seats, uh, touching, you know, the, the armrests, looking at where I'll be able to put my card in and, and cast my vote. Yes and no. Um, it was definitely one of those quiet moments we all had where we sat there and realized that all the hard work we put into, it's real and it's happening and we're here. We're here. So that was definitely one of those big aha memorable moments that uh, it was first and you're never going to have one of those again. And it's something I will never forget. All right, there you have it. Congresswoman elect Jill Takuda, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You have a safe trip back and have a great day. Thank you. You too. Aloha.